Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. Today is day 52, and today we're going to start a short series on the referral submenu or applet. And that is our fifth icon down on our left hand side within our menu there. So we're going to click on this referral icon. Kind of looks like a map pen with somebody sitting right inside of that. And that's going to take us into the referral portion of our KW Command platform. So we're automatically entered into our dashboard for our referral submenu. You can see several buttons here across the top. So we start off with pending invites. So that's how many people that I have sent out invites to that have not yet been uh, accepted. Next, I have pending referrals. So those are referrals that have either been sent out or have come in that have not yet been accepted. Um, and then, I'm sorry, those are the ones that have, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, next, we have ones that have been received and actually then accepted, and then those that have been sent and accepted. And you can click on any one of these, so 46 pending invites. You can see I actually have five here on the left-hand side that I need to go through and accept. You can see some people actually write in notes, so I'm happy to accept those. And some people are actually just sending over the referral requests to be added to my network. I'm happy to accept those as well. So I usually go through... You know, pretty much I accept anyone that wants to be part of my referral network, no big deal there. And then on the right hand side, you'll see all of the people that I have sent referral requests to that I am still waiting to hear back from. So that's 41 people as of right now. Back into the dashboard, we'll see pending referrals. So right now I have no pending referrals, meaning nothing that has been sent to me has yet to be received or accepted and nothing that I have sent out as the same way, right? So in the uh, received section, you will see this is actually a referral that was sent to me um, by an agent and I have already accepted this referral. So you can see the, uh, all the information about my referral partner, when it was received, what the time frame was, the referral fee, you can see the client information and then the notes and updates there as well. If we go back, you can see that this, so that's exactly where we just were, right? In the received referrals. And then I have not actually sent out any referrals right now. So that's all available right here under dashboard. Um, I do have a couple of other options as I scroll down. So there are currently 680 people in my referral network. If I wanted to search for a specific person, I could search for them by putting in their name in this box here. If I wanted to, I could just start scrolling down and seeing at least the first 10 or so that are in my network. If I wanted to see all of them, I would click on view all and it'd actually take me into the my network tab where I could see all of the people, all 680 people that I have. I can do viewing one to 10 and I can actually see up to 500 people within the referral network at one time. If I wanna send a referral to them, I can just actually put in send referral if they're already in my network. If I wanna send a new referral and maybe I can't find them or they're not in my network, I can click on new referral and then I can find an agent. So I might search in here. Um, let's just say maybe it's, I'm trying to think of somebody I could send this to. Um, let's just do Randy. Randy's my team leader at my market center. So I can start typing in Randy Olive. And there you can see Randy Olive, Houston, Texas. Um, maybe it's someone like, let's see, Bobby Motes in San Antonio. I mean, excuse me, in Austin. I can type in Bobby Motes and there's Bobby Motes also in my network. So you could, maybe you meet somebody at, um, I don't know, family reunion coming up, right? And then you find out that they live in a city that you have a referral for, and then you could send out that referral that way as well. Once you find the agent you want to send the referral to, you'll choose what sort of referral is this, buyer, seller, tenant, or landlord. What kind of referral fee are you requesting? How long do they have to accept this request, at which time it will go dead, basically, right? They won't, all, they won't be able to accept it. So you can give them 24 hours. You could give them less than that. Say, hey, I've got a lot of people that would love to work with me. I'll give you, what, six hours, something along those lines. If you haven't replied, then I got to move on to the next person. Maybe just give them one or two hours. Uh, you can put in a price range here if you have an idea about what the price range is that they're looking to buy or sell in or lease or rent in. And then you can write a message and actually send that referral out. Okay, once that is accepted, then that's gonna show back up under dashboards. Here, under sent, 
right? And then you can start checking it. It'll also show up in detail under the referrals. It'll just be here on the sent side instead of on the received side. Also in the dashboard, you have the ability to track referrals that are from outside of KW. So you can actually click on track referrals and it'll allow you to actually type in the name. So maybe it's, um, I don't know, Johnny EXP wants to send you a, a referral. Um, and you could come in and you could say whether that's an ingoing or outgoing referral. Maybe for some odd reason, you're sending a referral to somebody outside of the Keller Williams family because you can't find a KW agent where they are. And this is the way that you would basically track a referral for somebody that was not in the KW family or your referral network of Keller Williams agents. So um, that's essentially the gist of referrals. Um, to save a little time, I'm actually going to do a video tomorrow on the map and then talk to you about some things that may be coming down the pike here pretty soon. So for right now, that is today's 66 day challenge. Get in here. If you want to um, grow your network, you do have that ability as well. We can go through that. So let me click on my network. These are all the people that are in my current network. If I want to grow it, I can click on grow my network and that's going to take us to the map, which we're going to explore tomorrow. So I'm going to show you a way to search for referral partners across the US and then across the world. You can search for market centers. You can search for agents. You can actually search for those people um, by a variety of methods. So look forward to that video tomorrow when we dive in deeper about growing a larger referral network of agents that are across the city and across the state, across the nation and across the globe. Hope everyone had a fantastic day and is looking forward to a fantastic weekend. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys.